Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So an important thing about off-roading is having recovery gear. And something that you see on a lot of Jeeps is a winch in the front. And I'm happy to announce that we do have a winch. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. But as you can tell, my Jeep does not have a winch plate, but I do have a two inch receiver. So let me show you what I got. So Open Road actually reached out and they wanted to send me over this winch right here. But I also got you guys something as well. And this winch is actually 13,000 pounds made by Open Road, openroadfourwheeldrive.com. If you use the code Najar winch, you actually get $100 off the winch. Over here, we got the mount for it as well. And if you use Najar mount, you get 10% off of that. So let me go ahead and open everything and show you what it looks like. And then we'll go ahead and put it together. So this is everything that I got from Open Road. Back here is the mount stuff. And then over here is the winch stuff. It does come with some wireless remotes, which is always nice to have, especially with the winch. But it also comes with the wired remote as well, which is kind of big. Feels good in the hand though. Something that I thought was cool is there was a hat in the package as well. So that's pretty cool if they send you a hat with the winch. I'll definitely wear that. Anyways, this is the S2 model, which is 13,000 pounds. I do need to do more research on this, figuring out how like the disengage and engaging works. I've never owned a winch and I never operated one. So I want to do a lot of research just to be safe, just to know that I'm using all this correctly. It does come with a synthetic winch line, which is good for where I'm at. If you're in a place that freezes up, this is probably not the best thing for you. You might need the steel cable. I am going to go ahead and set up the winch plate and add and attach the winch to it. It looks straightforward. so. Let's go ahead and do that. I just noticed this socket down here. Do you guys ever leave stuff here? It always stays. It never like falls out, but we're gonna put that back in there so we don't lose it. First thing I noticed is these have two holes and they go up and down and you can actually adjust the angle of that piece there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is attach these handles. And I'll tighten these up at the end once everything is bolted on. So now we got that all together. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the middle. It has three different holes for different angles. So we're gonna add it to the middle for now. The way that this one goes is the bolt goes through here. It comes with these nylon washers and then it goes through the mounts. We're gonna add the nut through the outside. Actually in the instructions, it only shows to add the nylon washer at the top bolt. Um, there's only four of them included. So that's what I'm gonna do. So this is all put together now, it's solid. Now let's go ahead and put it on the Jeep and then attach the winch. Actually, I forgot to install the Fairleaf. And yeah, this piece is a little bit scratched. The box it came in was really bad from shipping, so it is what it is. I'm not really too worried. I mean, this is pretty much gonna cover it. In the package for the winch, that's where you get all the items for it. You get this big Allen wrench bolt and then a smaller one, and that is because you have this here. So this, I believe, is where this hook is gonna rest. All right, that's secure. So on the bottom here, you slide the nuts through. One of them just fell out. They have slots on the inside, you just slide it through. Okay, good to go there. Now we'll place it, that fits perfect. Then we'll put the bolts through the bottom. That's what it looks like installed. For this video, I am not going to wire it. The reason being is the wiring, I'm gonna make it detachable that way I can take this off and I don't always have to have it up here because it does stick out quite a bit. This is good for my setup since I don't have a winch mount. That piece just slides right in. I will make a separate video showing you guys how to attach this winch so that you can always take it off, remove it if you have a similar style setup as me. And if you do this, you can also run wires to the back. That way you can attach it on the rear or the front. I'm only gonna do the front, but with the hitch on this piece here, you definitely can put it on the rear. And on the next video about the winch, I will definitely show you how to wire it up correctly. That way you don't mess anything up. And I'll definitely do some research on how to use one of these properly, how to use the disengaging properly. That way you can spool this back in. Overall, the quality of this does seem really good. I do like the way it looks. It matches my Jeep too, since I go with the black and red uh, look on my Jeep. But I can't wait to try this and see how it does actually recovering a vehicle or pulling someone out. Like I said, we do have a discount code for $100 off on the winch if you guys want to pick one up. I'll have it linked down below. Use the code Najar winch for the winch, you get $100 off. And then if you need the mount, Najar mount, and you get 10% off of that. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Wait for part two, that'll be coming about a week. Once the other stuff comes in for the wiring, and once I get it wired up, we'll definitely try it. We'll uh, make Chris get stuck and pull him out. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.